Hey everyone, what's going on? Brett here with Simple Preparedness. Screwed it up today. So, we're going to do a different video. <laughs> I, uh, actually a little while ago, I had that, uh, peak refuel meal, the chicken fettuccine alfredo. Did a whole video on it, looked real nice, uh, came out really good, except I was using the new camera, I'm still not used to it, and being the genius that I am, I forgot to turn the microphone on, so there was no sound throughout the entire video, and that was the only package of that that I had, so... I'm gonna order another one. We'll try it again. Maybe I'll order a couple. That was actually, that was actually pretty good. So, uh, if you wanna go ahead and get one for yourself, go ahead. It was a pretty good meal. Uh, so I'm kinda doing something a little different than I had planned. Well, actually I did that, but that fell through, so. I uh, wanted to talk to you about uh, books. Um, I know a lot of people just shut the thing off right there. But I'm going to keep this kind of short. I don't want to drag this out. I know a lot of people don't like reading, don't have time for reading, or just really don't give a crap. So I'm going to keep this kind of short. But uh, something I really enjoy is books. Y'all know I'm like a huge Audible fan. I have, I don't know how many books on Audible now, and I just burn through them. I love Audible. But when I get a chance, I like to sit down and actually read a book. And I have three new ones here that I'm going to get started on. One of them I did start on already. So uh, I just thought I'd bring these to you real quick. I can post a link down below. If you'd like to check them out, if not, okay. Uh, one of the books I've already started is Decline and Decay. That's by a uh, angry American and Alan Kay. Uh, if y'all watch that TV show alone, you've seen both of them on there. Uh, Alan Kay actually won season one, I believe it was. So, there's some pretty good people, and Angry American, um, I've had some dealings with him, his wife, his kids, they actually sent a care package for my little boy when he was really sick and going through all his chemo and everything. There's some really decent, decent people. Um, just really impressed me with their kindness. Um, this is the stuff they do. They're really good people. Uh, one of the other books I picked up was uh, The Prepper's Medical Handbook. If you've been here for a little while, you know I, I do enjoy the medical side of things. Uh, I really need to get back to school and get learning what I can. Of course, things are kind of messed up right now, but I would like to go back to school here before long and just really follow up more on the medical side of stuff. But this is something else I'll be reading when I have some time. And uh, the last book I picked up, this was actually a uh, recommendation that... Well, it's from Jonathan Hollerman. He's the one that recommended reading this. And if you read any of his books, he's got some really good books out there too. This one is The Dark Secrets of SHTF Survival. Uh, this one actually sounded kind of interesting. The uh, author is apparently from Bosnia. And he went through a lot of stuff and ended up writing this book. 
so I'm kind of uh, interested in this one. This isn't a step-by-step -step how to, this is a slap in the face reality kind of thing. So I'm really looking forward to reading that one too. But I'm gonna get into those. That's all I really have for you today. I am still working on my daily carry bag. I've loaded it up three or four times, emptied it three or four times. It just didn't seem right, um, the stuff I was putting in it. And it's not meant for an EDC bag, a get-home bag, or anything like that. It's just stuff I might need throughout the day or stuff I might want. Uh, I do have plans for this upcoming year to try to get more videos and stuff out. So I'd like to get some video stuff in there, too. Uh, it's a work in progress, but I will get it to you. As far as the food video... I will order a couple more of those, and uh, we'll check them out. Like I said, it was really good. Um, it tasted like chicken Alfredo. I mean, it had big old chunks of chicken in it. Everything it was, it was tasty. Serving size for two. Come on, look at me, guys. <laughs> That's a serving size for one, though. So it was good. It was really good. But I'm just going to keep this one short. I'm going to cut you all loose. Um, I appreciate you all. I really do. Uh, if you're ever watching one of these videos and you see something that's odd or something I might have missed, you know, let me know. Um, I had a guy yesterday, I believe it was, he was watching the video on the trauma kit that I made. And he had mentioned that behind the, the tourniquet holder, there was a slot back there so you could stick your trauma shears in there. And I checked mine over and mine has no such thing. So he possibly got a newer pouch than I have. Um, he just got his the other day. I've had mine for about a year now. So they may have upgraded the pouch. So that's something I want to check into. And I'm glad he said something. Because now I know there's probably something out there newer than what I have. And I'd like to get it. I'd like to have those trauma shears on the outside of that pack. So if you ever see anything going on. Or you think I missed something. Please go ahead and let me know. Um, I'll definitely check into it. You know I may have some older gear than you all have. Or maybe you have something older than I have that's in better shape. I've been getting a lot of comments about that uh, Rush 72 2.0. Some people really like it. Some people just dog the hell out of it. So that is something I am looking, I'm looking around to for one of the older Rush 72s. The 1.0, I guess you could call it. Because I want to see what they took out of it. I, I hear there was a lot of other pockets, a lot of other pouches, things like that. And I want to see it firsthand. I want to do side by side. So I am looking at getting one of those if I can find one. Uh, so far, I've checked eBay, Amazon, 511, places like that. I can't find one right now unless I'm missing something. But I'm going to keep, you know, keep an eye out. Hopefully one will come up and I can grab one. And we can do a little side by side with that. But there we go, guys. That's all I got for you today. So, uh, as always, be safe, be prepared. We'll holler at you later. Bye, y'all.